Good morning. I have gotten some requests to show our greenhouse. I know in past videos you have seen it being built, but I've just never shown it finished. And of course it's always a work in progress, but it is closed in enough that we could plant seeds. Um, and they're growing. They're growing. So let me show you, I'll give you a little tour around. So the greenhouse itself, if you haven't um, kept up with old videos, was made out of this structure that was already here when we bought the property, but it's been changed. So you see how this is um, like a wire cage? This whole thing was a wire cage. That was the front of it with the door, and then this part was the back, and there were wire cage walls too. So it was about half of this size. We wanted it to be larger, and so Jason took the back and the front of the, the cage itself, because it was actually not structurally very sound, it was kind of wobbly. And then he built a frame so that we could make it twice as long as it was before. You can see we still have some tools and stuff because he's finishing up a couple things. Yeah, and the rooster is noisy. And the rooster is noisy. And then he built a, a roof, also of just two by fours, and all of the wood was recycled wood that we had here. So somebody asked me how much it cost to build this. I don't really know because we were just so blessed in so many ways. The cage was already here for this front and back. The wood we had already. Um, a friend of mine gave me these greenhouse um, plastic panels that she had. She said they'd been sitting there for 10 years and they never used them. And so that made up our roof. And another friend gave me this um, greenhouse plastic roll. And that's what we used for the sides and the front and the back. So... Yeah, it is, it's pretty wonderful. In fact, we had to buy, I think, two more of these panels to complete it because it was just a little bit short. And I think those two cost $70. I think they were like $35 a piece. So I guess that helps you figure what it would have been if we'd had to buy all those. We did buy a new thermometer to hang in here so that we would have a nice outdoor thermometer. So there you go, that was $9.99 or whatever. So Jason built these frames that he's going to put a tabletop on. Um, but in the meantime, I was anxious to plant. And he finished this up right at the perfect weekend for planting. And I thought, well, what are we going to plant in? Mm. So he had, <laughs> is it 10 o'clock? Exactly. He had some of this roofing. This is a, a standing seam roofing. And so he just took a piece and laid it upside down for me. And it made a perfect tray for me to make my little seed blocks. Samuel, do you want to run down there and get the seed blocker so we can show them? So I actually made my own mixture of compost and peat moss and I'm trying to remember, a little bit of sand. I can write down in the description box what I did because it's in my notes, but I don't remember. Then we mix it all up in the big wheelbarrow and we use this cool thing that he bought for me. So you, yeah. Yep, you push it down into the wet, wet mixture. Right? Okay, you put... I'm trying to remember how to do this. You pack the wet mixture in there. And then you set it on here and kind of push down while you pull up. And it makes little blocks of soil. Pretty cool. It is fast. And that's what we planted in. And then I just used one of those... Um, what are those... They're pens, but they're not. They're like grease pens, I think they're called. I used yeah. one of those to write directly on here, like, okay, and these two rolls are Brussels sprouts. And that way we can just wipe it all clean whenever the we're done. Basil is probably the slow growing. Basil is slow growing, isn't it? So this is what we have up so far. Um, I also have some heaters below that we turn on at night if it gets really cold to just kind of help heat this a little bit. And it has worked for everything except the peppers. I was reading about the peppers and it said they like really, really warm germination temperatures. So we have a little heat pad, heating pad that we had used for rabbits. So we're going to try planting them again with that heating pad underneath and see if that helps bring the warm temperatures they like. And, uh, yeah. The sweet cherry peppers? <laughs> yeah, I think that. That's not. <laughs> we're like, wait a second, that's not a sweet cherry pepper, that's a broccoli. Somebody must have dropped a seed over there. We need to move that guy over there, right? Samuel helped plant. He was really excited about the whole process. Mm. Why are you so excited about this, Samuel? Um, because I want a garden. Yeah, you had a good garden last year. What did you grow last year? Tomatoes, flowers, um, green beans, and that's all. 
Yeah, it was And good. peppers. Oh, cucumbers too, right? Didn't you have some cucumbers? No. No, that was Jeremiah's. Elsie. Elsie and Jeremiah. Uh-huh. Uh, but I didn't have enough room. Right. And peppers, but they didn't come up. Yeah, we had... They, they did just... They, like, rotted inside. Yeah, we had a weird pepper rot last year. So we tried a different variety. Hopefully that'll take care of it. But these are not coming up. No, nope, we have to try those again. But everything else has been doing well. And it's really fun to come out here and... Look at them. Take a look. So we still have that left to plant. We only planted the early crops. And then this week we get to plant um, the seeds that they said you could plant mid to end of March. So those will go next up there. Planting things in stages. So... Okay, so on the other side here, like I said, this is a work in progress and I need to clean it out. We need to move his tools out once he's all done. That was just some leftover plastic, so all that needs to be moved out. These big barrels were actually designed for, um, to help heat it. So you fill these black barrels up with water and then the sun shines on them during the day and they, um, just out of the way here. Yep, they heat up during the day, which today's not a very sunny day, so I don't know. But the water heats up during the day, and then at night, when the sun goes down, it slowly releases that temperature. So they said that can help keep your greenhouse warm also. Oh, yeah, once it was so hot, I had to do that. Mm-hmm. hot. Yeah, it does stay pretty warm in here. Um, right the, now it's... What is it right now? It's 60 degrees, and it's cool out, outside otherwise, so it's it's working. This bench we brought in, that was just a bench we had here because we like to sit and watch our seeds grow, right? Yeah. <laughs> We're pretty excited. Samuel dug up his own iris to put in a pot. This is the system I've been using, and this is my next packet of seeds that I get to plant. Um, and these flowers. But I went to, um, is it Axe and Root? Does she have her name on here? Yeah, Axe and Root's website. And she has these plant profiles that you can download for free. And so I just filled these out and then we tabbed when I could first plant the seeds. And that way I have the information all in one place. So we made one for everything that we're going to plant. And you can see some of these things go in late. We can't plant that one till May. So we're getting ready. We planted all the February 24th ones and now we're getting ready to move to do this March 18th one. That's this week. And that's these packet of seeds and some flowers. I got all my seeds from Baker Creek, which is right here in Missouri. So it's been pretty fun. It's been a pretty fun process, the whole thing. We've always enjoyed having a garden and every year we learn a little bit more. Last year we did the Back to Eden gardening for the first time where you layer up um, mulch around the plants you make a really thick layer and it helps keep the weeds out and the moisture in and it really even though i didn't do it as i should have they say you should have really thick like four to six inches of mulch i didn't have that much mulch however let's set you down here um oops there we go so I didn't have that much mulch um, on my garden last year, but it still worked. I did not have to water as much in the summer, and we did have less weeds. We put newspaper down for a barrier first, and then the mulch, and we planted, you know, right in there. So I will be doing that again, because even though I did it halfway, it was still successful. So we're excited. We're very excited. Um, I'm trying to think creatively, because we have a lot of land here. We have almost 16 acres, but a lot of it is um, woods. A lot of it is in the shade, which, you know, it's not very great for a garden. So I'm trying to think creatively of spots because our, our garden spot, um, it's not even in full sun, but it was enough sun that we were producing things. But I'm trying to think of other areas that are even in more sun that I could possibly use to plant. You know, we'll just have gardens here and there scattered around. Pastures full sun. Oh, awesome. Bella just brought the heating mat. So I just it plugged it in. Heat. It doesn't heat much. It doesn't heat. It's but supposed it's, to just bring them up to body temperature. Right, but it's going to be directly under the soil, so I'm hoping it'll be enough. Wait, really? Yeah, right under. I'm going to put it right under that tray right there. Under where the they tray? Are. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to set the tray on top of it. That's what I worry about it not heating to the metal. Well, we'll see. Because we had plastic 
Like that got yeah. through it and it wasn't. It wouldn't. Okay, well we'll see if it works. Or I not. have to put it like plant on top. And then that would be water. No. Oh. We'll try this first. I still have no, extra seeds. I mean seeds. like in the future if you did this, uh -huh. I'd put plastic wrap on it and plant your your put my pots things right on, on it. that plastic wrap on the thing. Okay. Because the plastic wrap will keep it from getting wet. It seems like it's just the peppers that have a problem. All right, Mr. Jeremiah, what are you excited about growing in your garden this year? Swiss chard. Swiss chard. You really like Swiss chard, don't you? How do you like it prepared? Mm, I don't know. We kind of saute in the pan, don't we? Yeah. When I make it, he probably eats half of it. He gobbles it up. <laughs> you like it a lot. What else? Anything else you want to plant in your garden? Mm. I don't know. What did you have last year? Do you remember? Uh, tomatoes. Mm hmm You want those Not again? Not switch tart. No. Do you want tomatoes again? Yeah. You like the big ones or the little ones? Mm, big ones. The and big ones. little. <laughs> like it all. Yeah. Okay. This is what the outside of the greenhouse looks like. So he just plastic covered this door. In the future, I would like to kind of glass the whole thing in. But for now, this is working great and it's free. It's right next to the garden. Um, stand back so you can see a little better. So it's it's a decent size and I'm excited to fill it up with plants. Plus it's fun to be in there on a cold day, isn't it, Jeremiah? Yeah. Yeah. More fun in there. Miss Lydia, are you climbing the hill? Come on! There's a big pit on the bottom of it. Uh-huh. What is it? What do you see? Let's check how the baby chicks are doing. We'll just do the whole tour. The whole outdoor tour today, right Elsie? So these are the baby chicks that Bella bought from, where are they? They're not in here. She let them out? Oh, they're outside. Okay. There they are. This is another little garden area. We just have creative spots here and there, and we're actually growing garlic in here. You can see we planted that in November all along. So in the middle, we'll plant something. I haven't decided what's going where yet, but these are the baby chicks Bella bought from Buckeyes. Eight of them. A few weeks ago, I guess. They're so big now. Every single one of us. Mine sits on my hand, and I taught it to do tricks. That's fun. I named it Speckle. Back there on the other side of that fence, that's an herb garden and tulips popping up. So we had just thrown straw over this to keep the tulip bulbs protected. Um, but I have thyme and chives. We'll put our basil plants in here, oregano. That's about it for herbs, I think. You want to go in the house? I'm giving the tour. Hi, Pepper. What do you want? Pepper needs a haircut. He still has his winter woolies on. What's Mom, one of the flowers that I transplanted is blooming. It's pink one. Oh, how fun. That's exciting. Boy, that chicken is raising a racket, isn't it? Mom, it laid an egg. Oh, it's my. not a chicken, it's a raisin. No, that's the chicken. All that noise. All that noise is just for an egg. Wow. Congratulations. This is what our garden looks like now. Pretty much weeds and empty empty trellises, right, Elsie? Mm -hmm. We need to pull all of those vines down off of there so that it's ready to go. Mm-hmm. Yep. You don't have the trellises. Yep, yep. The mulch is pretty much washed away because I only had about an inch. These are old zinnia stalks, so we have a lot of work to do, don't we? Yeah. It's not like we have a small garden. Nope. Well, compared to some people, this is like tiny. Right, some people have huge gardens, don't they? Hey Fern, how you doing girl? <coughs> Fern is getting bigger. The people we bought her from thought she was due to calve around April 15th. So that's coming up. Just, what, three weeks, I guess? <coughs> this will be a brand new experience for us. We 
all new to the cow stuff. But she's just hanging out, enjoying her last days <laughs> before that baby comes. We aren't milking her at all. We just gave her a break, let her dry up, have a couple months off. We do miss that fresh milk though. I am going to walk you up to show you the other cow that we have who's getting big. So we are raising this cow for meat actually, but he's still just so gentle with the kids. They like to walk him all around on a leash. Yeah, I was letting him graze that bottom part. Hi, Victory. He's getting big, aren't you, buddy? So if you remember Victory's story, we bought him first to be um, an adopted calf for Fern so that we could do calf sharing um, and he would, he would take the second milking of the day. But she's getting a break now, so he's on his own. <laughs> yeah. Hey there, buddy. Probably so he's just busy home. getting bigger, right? And that's his old home and he always goes uh -huh. there time. Yeah, if he ever gets loose, he's always right there waiting to be let in because so funny. He used to go creature there of day. habit. So this little this is the rabbit house currently, but for a while yes. victory. This was his home and so he always goes here. He runs straight back there, doesn't Good he? Boy. Are you gonna get a treat? Yes. He likes alfalfa. Alpha. I'm gonna do it. That's enough. She's out of the sleep. Come here. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. He's kind of fun to lead around, isn't he, Bella? Yeah, he is. He really likes to go in the woods on the trails. Like, he loves it. You know, he just walks along. And then once we cook him down to the creek. Oh, that's a long way. He went all that way with you? Well, yeah. So, he goes on the bottom trail. He still sucks your finger. <laughs> he was sucking my jacket there. Yeah, he likes to lick hair. That's his <laughs> obsession. Come here. Yeah, and like he'll just lick like this much of my hair and it'll be slobbery. <laughs> he sucks it. He likes looking at it. Still oh. kind of a baby. Let's see, how old is he now? We bought him he was born on Samuel's he birthday, was born, which was September 8th. He was born August. He was born end of August. Mid. Mid August. Well, was no, he, he three was, weeks when we got him? So yeah, it was late August. Yeah, he was three weeks. Okay, so it was the eighth. It'll be one weeks. again in August. Come here. He's still kind of like a fuzzy baby. The rabbits are doing well. Bella takes excellent care of them, and she's actually working on a website where she can post pictures for people who are wanting to buy pet rabbits. Then they can. She took some really pretty pictures, yeah, so they can pick the out their wood. rabbit. Uh huh. You did a great job. Pepper, you can't have them. So then people can look at the pictures of what's currently yeah, for these sale. Really fun. She's, they used to hide every time you come. These are the youngest, them. right? The youngest bunnies yeah, right these here. Tiny ones. Oops. So this old structure was here also, but Bella has worked hard to turn it into a really cute little place. She has this she made this gate. Yeah. That little well, door no, that did, can I open. Didn't make the door. It well, was you just attached it all together. An old rabbit hutch. But right. yeah, I made this this white it used to only be this high and we had problems with um, rabbits jumping over because they're very territorial. Mm -hmm. I still have to put a board on this. Sandwich that. But um, these guys are very territorial so they have to have their own space. And this is actually I'm going to be using in a couple weeks. I have like to have an uh, extra thing set up because then when we have bucks they start mounting their sisters. Uh -huh. We put them in here until we sell them. You know, uh -huh. that, like thankfully we sold their Right, we Brother, just sold a little black boy. Yeah, he start. He was starting to mount them. So they I, were yeah. so excited to buy him too. Yeah, they were. She said she bought him and for the five-year-old so who's always wanted a black bunny. Yeah, these guys are so sweet. Come here. Come here. So these are currently for sale. Those are. Two. And the babies are currently for sale. We call them the babies just because they're the youngest. They're like, they're like. I don't nine know. Weeks, they're all hiding. Eight weeks, nine weeks old. Bella's turning so this into sweet. a very nice little business for herself. We're proud of you. Yeah, you do a this, great job. See, Mom, it's like it's time to clean it out. 
Mm-hmm. They poop everywhere. Some of them are potty trained and these some are, of them are not, right? Are, she's litter trained. She is. She does a great job. Which I need to... So we've been taking the rabbit poop and we make, a, they call it a tea. It's kind of gross, but they call it a tea that you make from it by soaking it in water. And then you water your plants with that. And it's like the best fertilizer yeah, the for your plants. The problem is that we have a whole bucket that needs We to do. I, need, I will pour another... It's like a week old. Yeah. Well, there's not as much to water right now because it's just cold and rainy. But I can water the greenhouse plants again. And we can just dump it on the garden to get it ready for uh, when I we plant. I just cleaned out the laundry yesterday. Looking good, Bella. Yeah, and I made that hay rack. I was, oh, I that's neat. Right, you used wire there so you can stuff hay down in yeah, it. Yeah, I used wire and I attached it. And then we just pull it through. You know, I'm like, you I am back in the house and kids are hard at work. Okay. Silas, you're so close to finishing your entire level of... Teaching textbooks. Mm -hmm. How many lessons have you done today in your enthusiasm? Um, almost three. Because <laughs> you're just so excited. Mm, and it's easy. It's, it's an easy time it right now. It gets easier towards the end, I say. Well, I think it kind of comes and goes. Right now, you're just really understanding mm -hmm. this concept. I told them once they are done, which I don't know how many lessons you have left. Not very many, right? Um, last time I 11. 11. So you're really close. So this is going to be 10. And once they're done, we are taking a break with math until after baby comes. Two months. Yeah. Because they have pushed hard. We haven't really had a break. They've been pushing really hard, and so we're just going to take a break from teaching textbooks. Yeah, that'll be good. All right, Mr. Jeremiah. Jeremiah is doing so good with reading. He's been... Yes. You often your two cents. Lydia scratched up her head. She fell outside. You want more? Yeah. Yeah. Um, he actually hasn't been doing lessons every day because he's been having so much fun reading actual books. But we're going to do a lesson today. He started reading all the Dick and Jane books, right? And he's been really enjoying that. So you like to read, don't you? Yeah. Lydia wants another mandarin orange. They're so yummy. One. You want one too? Yeah. Yes, you can. I yes, you can. Like new ones. Yes, no. There's the same bag. You didn't like that bag? No, Lydia, do you see all his stars? There. See all the stars? Have chin. Have chin. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Everyone was mushy. Mushy, mushy. So the kids have also been using the um, iPads to do car spelling. No, what is it called? Let me think about this. Car Factory. Car Factory. Woo, that's right. One of the few apps that we use for learning is Car Factory. It's free. I, I still think it's free. We've had it a really long time. And it's very simple. I've talked about it here before, but the reason that I like it is because I put in their spelling lists. So whatever words... I've noticed that they're needing some help practicing. I just make custom lists for every kid, and then they take 15 or 20 minutes to sit there and do practice the spelling words on it. And then after they master a few, then they get this little car, and then they get to pick the color of the car. It's all very simple and not... There's there's more time actually doing the learning than there is doing the, you know, reword fun part, which is, actually is rare for apps. Yeah. I don't know. I, we, like, we like it. Your car at first, it has been good go, practice. And then you do three words. Three words at a time. Mm -hmm. And then you get and then another you piece. Go and pick your yeah, I like it. Color. It's We and don't do much on the iPad or anything because I feel like you know kids could just sit and do and that and too much. And I like my kids doing actual non electronic type things. But sometimes, especially on cold, rainy days, we will use that for some extra practice. And they do enjoy that. All right, Jeremiah, I'm ready for you. I'm sitting here patiently waiting. You're peeling your orange. No. You don't like it. It's too soft. It's too mushy. It's too soft. Yeah, he doesn't like the soft ones. Well, you can give it give it away if somebody else doesn't mind it. He's giving it away. Whew. I have been feeling very, very pregnant these days. I have about seven weeks left, and I've been spending a lot more time just resting and not pushing too hard so that I keep on feeling good. 
So it's perfect for doing things like reading. We're reading Black Stallion, which has been super exciting. And um, Jeremiah's been reading to me a lot, because he likes to have someone to read to. Don't you? <laughs> so we're going to do a lesson right now. Ready? Sit down here with me. Understand that we get one chance, one chance, yeah.